using Keynote to create a KDP low content notebook. Hi, Kerry here from Dream Creator B and welcome to our channel where we show you how to make money online with KDP low content books and Etsy with new training every week. So be sure to hit the big red subscribe button down below. So today I am actually going to do a video showing you how to make a notebook in Keynote, which is free for any Mac users and you also get it free on any iPads as well. So if you don't want to go off and purchase either PowerPoint or use Google Slides or any of the Affinity products or any of the Adobe products, this is a great solution because it's free and it's already on your software. The only issue that you have is you have to convert everything that's in inches to points but that is easy enough because all you need to remember that for every inch you times it by 72 so i'll go through what the actual inch inches are and then i'll also tell you what the actual points are and i'll leave that down in the description for you to have a look at as well so this is my screen here the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on file and new and we're going to select the basic white slide there and then all I'm going to do is going to highlight that and I'm going to press delete and I'm also then going to go to document up here and then from document here I'm going to change this to custom slides now this is where I need to put the size in now we're doing a notebook with no bleed now what no bleed means everything needs to be inside the margins that KDP gives nothing can come out of those margins so no lines no images at all can come out of those now if you do it with bleed then the lines and images can come out of the margins but no text can come out of the margins and we're not going to do a cover either we're just going to do a notebook interior so i'm going to do more videos showing you all the different ones and i'm also only doing this as a six by nine so you can use it as a hardback and a paperback cover so what we need to do here is change our width and our height so I'm looking down because I've made my notes now six by nine for six inches you need to times it by 72 and that comes to 432 so I'm just going to put that here then our height is nine inches and that comes to 648 so all I do is click okay and we can see that that has come up and then all I'm going to do is just do this so it's come down and what I want to do is I'm going to view the ruler now the reason why I want to show the rulers is because I want to put some guides in there now the guides what I want them to do is I want them to be there so I can actually see my margins now the minimum amount of margins that you actually need for KDP is 0.375 for the inner margin and 0.25 for the top the bottom and the outside margin now you could change it around for left and right pages or you could just leave it so everything is centralized so what we can do is we can start off with 0.375 now that is in inches so again we need to times that by 72 and that gives us 27 so all i need to do is go here and grab hold of that and just drag it and it should where i want the x where it says x i want 27 points there might be there there we go i think that just went off there we go so that's the first one then i want another one at the other side so that i've got the minimum and so when i first started doing kdp low contents i used to use mine as a uh, 0.5 but i found i've got plenty of real so i've changed it now what I want is 405 on this side. So all I've done is from 332, I've minus uh, 27. So 405, and that's that one. And then to get the bottom one and the top one, all I need to do is bring cursor up to the top and then drag. So the bottom there would be 621. and then this one here again will be 27 so i'll just come down 
So now we've got our margins, what we're going to do is we're going to add our lines and for that I'm going to use a table. Now I could just click here but I found it easier to actually go to insert table and use plain. So what I want to do is get rid of all these extra columns and where you can see the play the like pause button I'm just going to click on there and then I'm just going to get it so that it is one cell now what I can do is I can actually go in and edit these and to get this you just click format here click cell I can select one at a time or I can select the whole thing and then what I can choose is I can actually say I don't want any borders no border the outside and then on the bottom I can change that to one make sure that's there again do the same one it's gone multiple don't want multiple so I'm just gonna go to no border on that no border and then It's got the wrong no border and no border. So it's just a case of messing around and it is a bit bigger than what I wanted. So I'm just gonna drag in and move it. So I'm gonna go up here. In fact, I wanted the top one there. Top change that to border. And change it to one. Now you can do it as thick or as dark as you want, and you can change the color. So if you want it like a gray color, you can do that as well. I'm just going to go back. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 24 of these because that's about the average for notebooks. So I just click on that pause button again or two lines, and then I'm just going to up how many I want, and I'm going to go to 24. And it hasn't put all the lines in that I wanted. And again. So that's in the center, you can see it's done that. I'll click there, click, you know, click there, change that to one, and click that one, change that to no border, click there, and click no border, and it's got borders still on this one. And, then, okay. no. No. and that should be now my one. I'm just going to move that down a little bit. So that's there. There's my mouse. There we go. So I'm quite pleased with that and then all I need to do is just go command D on the slide so I need to just click on the slide there and then just command D and that will make me all my slides and that is how you quickly and easily make a notebook with Keynote so you can save them as well so it's just file save and you can also export as a PDF and if you purchase any templates from anybody most templates that you get with PowerPoint can also be opened up in Keynote there might be some missing fonts but you can usually change them anyway so that I hope that's helped you next video that I'll show is how to actually create a notebook with uh, bleed and then we'll create some um, covers as well so if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and if you haven't already subscribed don't forget to hit the little b above my head also if you want any other types of videos making 
don't forget to make a note down in the comments about those videos that you would like making or any training you'd be interested in learning about with KDP Low Content Books and Etsy, whether it be research or anything like that, don't forget to put them in those notes there and while you're here why not check out some of my book vault review videos and tangent template videos as well